Welcome to another Java session. In this video, we will talk about interfaces. So we will see what are interfaces, why do we need to use interfaces, then we'll see how to create interfaces in a Java project, and then we will see how to implement those interfaces using classes. And in the end, we will see few questions which can come to interview or exams. So without any further delay, let's start. Interface is just a reference type which is similar to class in Java. It can contain constants, method signatures and starting from Java 1.8 it can contain default method and static methods as well. Earlier only method signatures were available and no method was having any implementation or body but uh, from Java 1.8 method body exists only for default and static methods. We cannot instantiate the interfaces. They can only be implemented by classes or extended by other interfaces. A class can implement any number of interfaces. Now let's see how we can create interfaces in Java. So uh, be ready with the Java project on any of your IDE. Currently I'm using STS which is based on Eclipse. So on any package that I have created, so in this case I have created this specific package to store the interfaces. I will right click on it and go to new and there you will see an option to create an interface just beside class. So here I will click on interface. So I will create an interface for shape and click on finish. And that's it. This is how an interface is created. And you can see a very small difference between class and interfaces, the keyword here. So in classes, we have public class and then class name. But in case of interfaces, you can see I have uh, public interface and then name of the interface. Now let's uh, try to create some elements inside it. So uh, first is the member variables. All the variables are public, static, final. Uh, any variable which is defined inside interface uh, has to have these identifiers and after that uh, type and we can say color and here itself we need to define the initialize the variable as well otherwise we'll get the compilation error so we want to calculate the area and that is how we will declare a method similar to our uh, abstract method which we have defined in our abstraction video session so that's it we have this interface ready with one uh, area as a method so let's uh, let's try to return a value as well so that it should return the area in double okay now whichever specific shape class uh, implementing this shape interface that has to implement the uh, area method itself now this is my circle class now how i can implement the sh uh, shape interface uh, if you remember in case of uh, extending the classes we use extends keyword but uh, in case of implementation we need to mention implements and then uh, name of the uh, interface that we want to implement so it will be this one okay so now you can see uh, it's already giving me a compilation error so you can see what is what the error is the type circle must implement the inherited abstract method shape dot area or we uh, the second option it is giving me that i can make the circle class abstract that means uh, i can do the same thing which we did in case of abstract classes as well if implementation is not provided then the subclass or the implementing class must declare itself as uh, abstract now let's use the ide help to add the unimplemented method itself so if i hover on this error I will click on add unimplemented method and you can see it has already provided me an auto generated method stub. So here what I need to do uh, as it's a circle it will have its own uh, radius variable also. Now area will be uh, uh, based on a formula pi r square. So what we will be returning return we'll use again math.pi which is math.pi value and then into radius into 
radius so this is how it will return the area itself if i want to override two string method itself i can uh, take help from ide itself can right click and uh, in eclipse or sts you can see an option source is there in case of uh, intellij idea you will see an option generate there so from here uh, if i want to override specific method i can click on this option override here it will show me all the available methods which i can override so suppose uh, as object is the parent uh, class for all the classes so it will give me all those methods which i can override so i'll click on to string and click uh, here i will be printing color value from shape and uh, in addition to that i will print the radius and area as well now we are left with one thing we need to set the radius as well okay so this is how i will be setting the radius value while creating the object itself for the circle so this is my main class where main method is there so now uh, i will create object of circle class so circle from interfaces so this is object new circle and i need to provide a radius in double so now obj dot two string i will call obj dot two string so that i can print all these values and as it is returning a string so let me enclose it into a system dot out dot print ln statement so that i'll be able to see the complete detail of the object itself now let's try to run the program okay and we can see uh, we have just created a circle with 5.5 as radius and uh, it goes to the two string method in circle and printing the color from shape which is blue that we have set in the shape interface itself and then uh, printed the radius 5.5 which we have inputted and after calculating the area using pi r square it has printed 95.033 so this is how uh, interface methods can be implemented let's check few interviewer exam related questions the first one is why do we need interface in java so the main answer to this is to achieve total abstraction because it was not applicable in case of abstract classes because it can have objects with the implementation so to achieve total abstraction we need interfaces in java second will be as the java does not support multiple inheritance so that means java uh, classes cannot extend multiple classes so that can be achieved using interfaces because a class can inherit multi or implement multiple interfaces so uh, using this multiple inheritance can be achieved in java and also uh, it is used to achieve loose coupling as well can we create instance of an interface so the answer to this will be no we cannot instantiate an interface uh, it contains abstract methods except uh, default or static methods because those were introduced in java 8 so uh, because it has abstract methods due to which which are those are incomplete so it cannot be instantiated even if you try to do that then do you will get a compilation error itself at the same point next is can we declare an interface with abstract keyword answer is yes you can do that but uh, the thing is uh, all the interfaces in java are by default abstract so uh, if even if you don't mention abstract keyword that will remain abstract as it is because those are by default abstract in java this is also a very important question like what will be the difference between class and an interface so uh, here are few differences which uh, uh, I have mentioned here but uh, a point to be noted that after the introduction of uh, Java 8 with the static and default methods the difference between the classes or abstract class and interface uh, has been minimized again. So uh, let's just talk about all the differences that we have till 1.8. So for a class uh, you can instantiate variable and create an object but that is not uh, feasible in case of interfaces second will be classes can contain concrete that means implementation of the methods but uh, prior to java 1.8 interfaces uh, cannot have 
concrete implementation of the methods only the method signatures were uh, available in case of interfaces next will be the xx specifiers used with the classes are private protected and public but in case of interfaces only one specifier is used which was public and the last will be a class can extend only a single class but a class can extend multiple interfaces even a single interface can also uh, extend uh, multiple other interfaces so here you can see a class can actually implement multiple interfaces so instead of extend class will be implementing the interfaces but if one interface is actually uh, inheriting from other uh, interfaces then that will be extending the interface so with this we are almost done with the, all the object oriented programming concepts of java a uh, few remaining components we will cover in our next sessions so if you like the video please do subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon in case of any suggestion please do comment thanks for watching see you next time